Now, when we run the motor, we crank this link, what area does the output link sweep through? Sort of like a wiper blade. What is that area? And also, what is the arc length that it's sweeping through up here? So let's figure that out. And the way we do that is by placing three circles. The first circle at the base of the input link, top to bottom, then two other circles on the cranked link. And I'm just going to throw two circles out here, any size. And then I'll dimension these. And my first circle is going to be a radius of 80 plus 15. It's just the length of these two links added together, which is 95. And again, we want a radius. 95. And on the next circle, instead of 80 plus 15, it's 80 minus 15. And again, a radius, and that will be 65. Now, if we go back and crank the motor, this link right here, we run that around, we see as it comes around, there's our first intersection right there. Runs it around, intersection of those two circles, heads the other way, there's the intersection of those two circles. Now we could come around this way to get the line that intersects there and simply go to the parallel constraint and say I would like this line to be parallel with this line. So there's our first line and intersection. Then we simply go and draw another line at the end point and find the intersection. And we could go to the trim button and clean this out a little bit. Get rid of all these extra lines. And go to Inspect, Area, and there's our area. And if we'd like to find an arc length, we go to Smart Dimension, pick on the arc, and right here, Smart Dimension Length. That's just under 50 millimeters. Now, if we'd like to find the angle between, Let's go and look at the angle right here. The angle between is 47 degrees. And if you'd actually like to highlight this area, you can go back here to Fill, Under Home, Fill, and identify that area, and it shows it as crosshatched. Now, if you wanted to increase your sweep area here, how would you do that? Well, the first thing we would do is just hit Undo and go way back to where we were, even before we put the circles on there and would make some modifications. So let's see if increasing the length of this floating link increases the sweep area here. We'll go from 80 to say 90. And then we just go back and add these circles. We could also change the circles to dashed lines and make them thinner if you don't want to see them as much. And again, we start from the bottom, go to the top. There's our first circle. And then we just place two more circles here. And we want to go to the one circle, 90 plus 15. We want to go radius, and that's 105, 105. And put another radius on the other circle there, radius, and that's 90 minus 15, which would be 75. And we'll rotate this around a little bit. And I'd like this to be parallel with this. We add one more line at the intersection between these two circles here, right there. We saw the intersection point, and we could go and trim this piece out. Go back to Inspect, and let's look at the area right now. Now the area is increased to 1875.